Hello friends, today I want to offer you a challenge that will help you declutter more easily. I know the word challenge can sound like this will be difficult, but I promise you it isn't. I'm challenging you to do what I call a minimizing microburst or a 10 by 10 quick declutter. And I want to be specific with where I'd like you to do this quick declutter. I want you to focus on your hidden clutter spots. Those are the areas behind doors and in drawers that I always recommend as a good starting point because those are the spots where clutter loves to congregate. So think about your hall closet, your linen closet, your nightstand drawer, or maybe even that storage closet in the basement that you never go into. It's likely if you haven't gone into these spaces in a while or haven't done anything more than open them quickly to shove something in and shove them, you don't remember everything that's in there. And you aren't alone. All of the clients I work with have these hidden clutter areas. I have them too. I think it's important to note that clutter happens and it happens more easily when we can tuck something behind a door or in a drawer. So this challenge is meant to help you address those areas in a quick, painless, straightforward way. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to take a trash bag and a box for donations or two trash bags if that's all you have and set a timer for 10 minutes. I know you've heard this before and there's a reason. It's because it works. Once you set that timer, you're going to go into the space with the, the goal, and this is key, of removing at least 10 items that you can easily identify are trash or in good enough condition to donate. That's it. I find that when you focus only on what you know you can easily trash or donate, you take the emotion out of the task. And often in these hidden spots, many of the items, they carry no emotional weight and are mostly items you can decide on easily. The problem is you look at the task and expect the decisions to be harder, which makes you not want to start. I'm challenging you to start because I know you will find some simple stuff to let go of and get that sense of satisfaction and lightness you're looking for in only 10 minutes. You might find more than 10 items. You might want to stay in that space for 13 minutes. Have at it. The goal of the quick declutter is just that. It's to lighten that space, get your declutter juice juices flowing a bit, and give you a sense of satisfaction, which you deserve. Don't forget to set the timer for 10 minutes. Doing so creates this pleasant boundary, if you will, and makes the task feel less daunting. And it is. You can do anything for 10 minutes. I know you can. When you're done with your 10 minutes, remember to clear the decks, which is to move the trash or recycle to the bin and the donations to the car or in a spot that you'll see it next time you're heading out. And if time allows, you can repeat this microburst in another hidden spot or in the same space. For best results in your decluttering efforts, I recommend you put at least three of these microbursts onto your calendar weekly. Once you start doing these, you'll feel more energized and lighter, and dare I say, you'll be more interested in doing more. It's a good kind of contagious. Please let me know how you go in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're new here, please feel free to hit like or subscribe so you don't miss a single thing I post about how to let go get organized, and live simply and well. I'd love to have you back. Until I see you again, remember, you are the architect of your life. You have the power to choose the contents, the thoughts, things, and people that will make it a life you love. See you soon.